The Grand Lake debates. Power, right idea. You are watching the 10th season of the Grand Lake debates. Thank you for joining us. As you watch, please bear in mind that schools randomly pick their topics, opponents, and positions. Debate teams are challenged to convince the judges, regardless of their personal beliefs. The theme for the quarterfinals is public health and safety. Both areas continue to come under increasing focus as our nation endeavors to meet its development goals. I am Eric Williams, and I'm honored to be your chairperson. I call this house to order. The motion, be it resolved that the taxes placed on alcohol and cigarettes be apportioned to the health budget in Grenada. For the proposition, Grenada Boys Secondary. For the opposition, Presentation Brothers College. Ladies and gentlemen, the first speaker for the proposition. Honorable Chair, distinguished judges, worthy opponents, accurate timekeepers, attentive audience, to all good afternoon. My team and I are in uttermost conviction of the motion, be it used of, that the taxes placed on alcohol and cigarettes be apportioned to the health budget in Grenada. I will define key terms, show the effects of alcohol and cigarettes on our health sector, and explain our current budget toward health. My second speaker will further elaborate on our stance by giving case studies, speak about our current health problems, and give reason why this allocation is a must. This will be followed by cross-examination and rebuttal. Taxes, according to dictionary.com, is a sum of money demanded by a government for its support for specific faculties or services. A portion to give or share out something, came a dictionary. Investopia.com defines a budget as an estimation of revenue of expenses over a specified future period of time. The consumption of alcohol and the indulgence of cigarettes has a significant impact on Grenada's health sector. Cigarette smoking harms nearly every organ of the body, causes many ailments, and reduces the health of smokers in general. Drinking excessive amounts of alcohol causes raised blood pressure, which is one of the most important risk factors for having a heart attack or a stroke. Increases in your blood pressure can also be caused by weight gain from excessive drinking due to alcohol. Judges, let's look at dialysis in Grenada. People receive this treatment due to the failure of kidneys. In Grenada, according to the Ministry of Health, alcohol is the number one cause of kidney failure. The government provides $1,000 per patient needing dialysis. The government now currently dishes out $70,000 every single month to provide peritoneal dialysis for citizens. Do you know the government is getting this money? It's coming from our taxes. Won't it be much fairer and more reasonable for the consumers of alcohol to be taken care of by their own taxes when they purchase their drinks? It can be argued that the taxes placed on these items are to be used as a deterrent and it should reduce the amounts of purchases seen. But this would mean that the sum of taxes will drop, making the sum insignificant to the health budget. But unfortunately, this is not the case. In 2050, when taxes were placed on alcohol and cigarettes, there was a 20% increase in their usage. Opponents, our health budget is extremely low. According to the United Nations, our health budget should be 6.7% of our GDP. Our health budget is currently only 3.5% of our GDP. In, it could very well be said that the taxes made by cigarettes and alcohol could be allocated to another underdeveloped sector. But opponents, when our working class is sick and dying with lung disease and liver problems, who will be working in these other sectors? According to Kennedy Roberts, health lecturer, a country's health sector is its most important sector. The WHO even recommends that the government should implement a pool of money outside of the consolidated, consolidated fund just for health. The government can even continue providing their small 3.5%, but with the pool in which syntaxes will play a gigantic role, this will enable the government to still provide proper health services to our country. A country's health is key to our development as a healthy nation is a wealthy nation. How can we now justly say in our right mind, that the taxes placed on alcohol and cigarettes not to be apportioned to the health budget? I thank you. Let's welcome the first speaker for the opposition. Good afternoon, all. We dismiss all definitions put forward by the proposition. 
I stand here with great tenacity, resolute and unyielding in our scent of the moot. My team and I will not become flamoxed by the expostulations of our aspirants. As first speaker, I will delineate the intricacies of the moot. My second speaker will further fortify our line of reasoning. Be it resolved that taxes placed on alcohol and cigarettes be apportioned to the health budget. Public Sector Economics for Developing Countries by Dr. Michael Howard defines taxation as an involuntary saving by taxpayers that is diverted to government for resource allocation. When evaluating a tax system, it must be equitable and efficient. A portion, according to Cambridge Advanced Dictionary, means to give or allocate. According to the Licensing Act of 2003, Chapter 191, Subsection 1, alcohol means beer, wine, cider, spirits, and any other fermented, distilled, and spirituous liquor. According to Dr. Michael Howard in the aforementioned book, a budget refers to a government's pr proposed financial statement that identifies the main sources of revenue and an outline of expenditure, both recurrent and capital, for the next fiscal year. My team and I accept that the healthcare system in Grenada is deplorable. Consequently, we will not wrangle with our opponents about apportioning taxes to the health system. We agree that apportioning taxes to the health system needs to be a government imperative. However, we do not believe that the taxes to be apportioned should be from alcohol and cigarettes. As a result, our issue here today is what is being taxed and by extension, who is being taxed. Appropriating taxes from alcohol and cigarettes cannot be deemed equitable, Honorable Chair, because the healthcare system benefits everyone, not just alcohol and cigarette consumers. According to the Journal of Public Economics, and I quote, the equity principle of taxation states that the tax burden should be equitable, end of quote. This criteria stipulates that everyone is asked to, to contribute to the general revenue of a nation based on the benefits received whether directly or indirectly. Dr. Francis Martin, senior medical officer with the responsibility of primary health care in Grenada, had stated that the leading causes of death are cancer, specifically prostate, intestinal, and breast, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and obesity. The Pan American Health Organization solidified Dr. Martin's point as their research indicated that these diseases account for the deaths of three in every four persons within the Caribbean region. Dr. Martin also added that less than 1% of these, of these diseases are connected to the alcohol and cigarette consumption. The Grenada budget estimates for 2017 reveals that $79.9 million was allocated to health. Of this, $63.92 million was for hospital care alone. And yet, this, this means this is up 80% of the health budget, and yet this money is still not enough. The healthcare system in Grenada benefits every single person in the society. How can it be considered equitable when alcohol users and cigarette consumers are the only ones targeted to financially bolster the health system? Honorable Chair. Where is the equity in this tax structure? The World Health Organization highlights the diseases that creating a crisis in our society are linked directly to poor dietary practices, not the consumption of alcohol and cigarettes. And if any tax needs to be apportioned, it should be the tax revenue generated from the sales made from, the, from sugary foods and foods with high levels of preservatives. Thank you. The second speaker for the proposition will continue his team's case. If you choose to sin, then you'd have to pay a tax, and that tax would be used to cure the sin. Nicholas Steele, Minister of Health. Good afternoon. My purpose here is to fortify our stance and to show that the monies collected from taxing cigarettes and alcohol will help develop our health sector. We choose to refute all definitions proposed by our opponents, therefore stand with the definitions proposed by my full speaker. The only constant in life is change. Kennedy Roberts, health professor at SGU. In order to meet the needs within our health sector, there must be changes in the way that we manage our health system. 
and allocating the monies collected from taxing alcohols and cigarettes to the health sector is a sure and positive way to see improvements since these products are the major contributors to NCDs, which make up 65% of our health budget. The government has just signed a petition to implement the universal health coverage right here in Grenada due to the fact that less than 15% of the working population has health insurance. So why not manage this pool of funds and invest it into our people's health? After all, a nation's health is its wealth. We are therefore proposing that taxes collected from cigarettes and alcohols be apportioned to our health budget because it will help improve services within the health sector and curb the use of alcohol and cigarette use to a minimum. Opponents, imagine what these monies will, be, will do for our health sector. We will be able to finance a significant amount of public relations and information about the negative effects of these products on the body to save lives. People presently suffering from NCDs will be able to receive proper health care and universal health care for all. Opponents, do you take a reform of taxes on tobacco and alcohol products passed in 2012 and airmarking this to the health budget? The Philippines have been able to significantly increase their health budget, allowing them to improve the reach of the country's universal health care program. And there was a significant decrease of 42.4% in the number of NCDs. Within four years, the coverage increased from 74% to 86%. So why shouldn't we try to emulate this? According to recent studies, Grenada has the highest percent of alcohol use in the Caribbean and ranked 13th internationally. Let us look closer. In our region, to be exact, Jamaica's government has seen the need to allocate the taxes collected from cigarettes and alcohols and apportion it towards their health sector because there was a dire need to improve the health of their people and not depend solely on the consolidated funds to improve lives. In fact, Jamaica has experienced decrease in the consumption of these products, healthier lifestyles, and lowered NCD rates. Opponents, judges, there is a direct correlation between alcohol and cigarette use and the amount of persons suffering from NCDs at our hospitals. We are well aware that the monies received from the national budget cannot meet those needs. So why not consider using the taxes collected from alcohol and cigarettes since it's the main contributing factor? Thank you. Presenting the second speaker for the opposition. We dismiss any definitions proposed subsequent to our first speaker. W. Griffith, in his article, Can Caricom Countries Replicate the Singapore Experience, observed, and I quote, the tax system must have efficiency objectives, end of quote. The objective of the tax as postulated by the moot is to generate revenue to be allocated to the health budget. Grenada's national alcohol policy indicates that 70% of persons under the age of 16 have consumed alcohol. According to the Ministry of Finance Statistics Department, and I quote, youths between the ages of 15 and 24 account for 19,629 persons within our population. This is over 18% of our total population. Therein, youth unemployment was recorded at 45.3% for 2016. An economic principle states, groups with less dis disposable income, such as underage drinkers, smokers, and unemployed youths, will be more sensitive to prices than those with more disposable income. The revenue incurred from such taxes because of these individuals who are economically and financially unpredictable will not meet revenue objectives. How then? Can we depend on such tax revenue to be a portion to already failing and cash-strapped health sector? This is a recipe for disaster. If the objective of the tax structure is to generate revenue to a portion to the health budget, we undoubtedly need to tax an economic good that is more inelastic than alcohol and cigarettes. We accept that alcohol and cigarettes are habit-forming goods and also price inelastic. This means they do not respond significantly significantly to a change in price. However, 
They are not the most inelastic goods consumed in Grenada due to the fact that there are close substitutes such as babash, barum, methylated spirits, and even chewable nicotine. Consequently, we propose a more inelastic good with no close substitutes that the majority, if not all Grenadians, must directly or indirectly purchase or consume, such as petrol or imported foods. According to the estimate of revenue and expenditure for Grenada 2017, the recurrent revenue for 2017 in the form of taxes collected from alcohol and cigarettes is $25,460,013. Is this what we are suggesting to be a portion to health? How is this possibly going to work? In the same year, the Ministry of Health was estimated to have an expenditure of $79.9 million. Compared to the recurrent revenue from food importation and petrol, this is a whopping $396,409,408. The difference between the revenue generated from cigarette and alcohol taxes is $370,949,395 less than what is being generated from petrol and food. The revenue generated from alcohol and cigarette taxes is only 6.42% of that generated from petrol and food. Honorable judges, the numbers never lie. I thank you. During the cross-examination, one speaker from each side will take turns questioning each other about issues that are relevant to the motion. My worthy opponent, do you believe that the revenue generated from the tax placed on alcohol and cigarette would be sufficient to bolster the health sector? Of course, my dear opponent. For as stated by a second speaker just a while ago, $25 million generated from the sale of alcohol and cigarettes. As such, don't you think that will cut the $79 million expenses from the hospital drastically? Right. My worthy opponent, can it bolster the entire health sector? Of course it will not, my worthy opponent. That is why the 3.5% of GDP that is supplied by the government will aid in that $25 million to pull the health sector out of its debt. So my worthy opponent, where are you suggesting we get the rest of money from? From, um, from the budget. For as seen in the budget, 3.5% is allocated to health. My worthy opponent, the entire budget is $79.9 million and only $25,460,013 can be allocated from alcohol and cigarettes. Of course. Can this bolster the entire health sector, my opponent? Of course opponent? not. That is almost impossible, my worthy opponent. So then what it makes are you no insinuating? sense to, um, to actually fund the entire health sector only on alcohol and and cigarette taxes. So then what do you suggest we do after we apportion alcohol I just and said a the while taxes ago. from alcohol and cigarette and it cannot bolster the entire health sector? What then will happen to our health? So why would you only, only resort to one form of revenue source? My worthy opponent, are you saying that we, we get the taxes from something else? Of course, from the budget. So where do you think it's coming from now? From the budget. My worthy opponent. We, you are st suggesting that the entire health sector be bolstered we by are the taxes not, apportioned from alcohol We are proposing and that the taxes allocated from tobacco and alcohol aid, aid the budget currently. My we are not opponent, supposed to. We are pressed for time. Let okay. us move on. My worthy opponent, according to the World Health Organization, young persons, unemployed persons, and vulnerable groups or the majority of people who consume alcohol and cigarettes. How can we depend on such financially and economically unstable persons to fortify our health sector? For as you just said, the, um, the revenue gain from such people is, sub, is actually significant. So don't you think that revenue use can, can be pushed to boost my the health sector? My worthy opponent, please answer my question. I did answer your question. My worthy opponent, how can we depend on such economically and financially unstable persons? We are not depending on them. We are using their revenue to aid our health My sector. My worthy opponent, but they are victim to any changes in the economy. And as which such, the same money that we get from them will be used to actually set up a universal health care to help them. So don't you think so? But my worthy opponent, what will happen when there's a fluctuation in our economy? Do you say we leave our health sector to chance? No, use a budget. So why do you think the budget is there for? My worthy opponent, we are su you are suggesting that... Thank you. 
Now, worthy opponent, are you in favor of a healthy nation being a wealthy nation? My worthy opponent, our nation will become healthier after we apportion the taxes from sugary foods and foods with high Answer levels question, of preservatives. Are you in favor of a healthy nation being a wealthy My nation? My worthy opponent, if you were listening to the answer which I was giving to you, you would understand that I am saying yes. However, but, but you are still however, in support of apportioning taxes, which we are in favor of. My so I don't see you, sir. My worthy opponent, my team and I do not dispute the fact that the apportionment of taxes to the health sector is a good thing. However, so we why stand are you refuting for, the fact opponent, that Please allow me to finish my statement. Go ahead. However, we stand firm on our belief that the taxes which should be apportioned to the health sector are not the taxes from alcohol and cigarette, but the taxes obtained from sugary foods and foods with high levels of preservatives as they have okay. a higher negative impact on our, on our health on. sector. Would you prefer a healthy, productive citizenry as compared to a sick, unproductive work sector? My worthy opponent, which part of our argument insinuated that we are suggesting a sick part of it? Answer the question, would you prefer? My worthy opponent, no we would not. Exactly, so why are you suggesting that we don't have ocean taxes? I From alcohol and cigarettes, my worthy opponent. which boost the health sector, my worthy which further give a positive impact my on the... I the, would like the judges to know that my opponent is not allowing me enough time to answer the questions. <laughs> my worthy opponent, as is stated by Dr. Francis Martin, senior medical officer responsible for primary health care in Grenada, the main causes of death in Grenada are cancer, diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular diseases. Which all stem less from than, alcohol. My worthy opponent, he also stated, less than 1% of these diseases have any relation to alcohol and cigarette consumption. Next question. How do you propose we deal with the lack of viable health care and minimal health insurance in our ever-increasing population with, with NCDs without apportioning taxes from alcohol and cigarettes? My worthy opponent, apportioning taxes from alcohol and cigarettes will not directly solve this problem. As was stated earlier, the taxes from alcohol and cigarettes only amount to 25 million to, to 25.4 million. And as just said, wouldn't that 25 million help to boost the health sector? My worthy opponent, if our true interest is to better our health sector, the most viable move would be to get to, to, to to apportion the taxes from goods and, service, and services which would further right, thank you boost. Very much. Oh, the opponent. As stated by a second speaker, apportion taxes with the, and the revenue collected from alcohol and cigarette taxes, as stated by a second, as stated by our second speaker, with the apportion revenue collected from alcohol and cigarette taxes, a universal healthcare system can be established. Are you against such? The rebuttal speaker for the opposition is expected to pull apart the proposition's case and point out areas of weakness. My worthy opponents have spoken of the health effects of alcohol and cigarettes in our country of Grenada. But the problem is Dr. Martin, Dr. Francis Martin, senior medical officer for primary responsible for primary health care in Grenada, has stated that alcohol and cigarettes have less than 1% to do with the leading causes of death in Grenada, which are cancer, diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular diseases. Secondly, your first speaker also spoke of the, wealth of a, the health of a nation being the wealth of a nation. We do not dispute this. However, the taxes placed on alcohol and cigarettes will not generate enough money to be put into the health sector to fix any problems that we have. You have also spoken, your first speaker has also stated that the health budget in Grenada is low and needs to be fixed. We agree with this. And again, the taxes placed on alcohol and cigarettes will, generate, will not generate nearly enough money to be able to uphold our health system and to be able to better our country. Your second speaker spoke of curbing alcohol and cigarette use in Grenada. However, the apportioning of taxes to the healthcare system in Grenada will not curb the problem of alcohol and cigarette use. All it will do is allow people to smoke and drink more as they will be th have the mentality that as I am smoking and drinking, I am helping the health sector. Secondly, your so second speaker spoke of Grenada being number one in alcohol and cigarette use in the, in the Caribbean. However, this is per capita, meaning it takes into account our population, not every person drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes, which means that we are not actually number one. We have our own specifications. 
You have also spoken of Jamaica and the Philippines approaching their taxes on alcohol and cigarettes to the healthcare sector. But we are not Jamaica and we are not the Philippines. We have our own problems. We have our own specifications. And our leading causes of death have almost nothing to do with alcohol and cigarette use. Your rebuttal speaker, your rebuttal speaker spoke, uh, stated that tobacco and... Uh, to, yes, your rebuttal speaker... The proposition's rebuttal speaker will close the match. Kidney failure, lung cancer, diabetes, and even high blood pressure. Grenada's number one killers, according to the Ministry of Health. Good, ma good afternoon to our opponents. The mood states, be it resolved that taxes placed on alcohols and cigarettes are a portion to the health budget in Grenada. This means that the taxes will be directly added to the health budget. Your second speaker stated that our health sector should not depend on the taxes from alcohol and cigarettes. You are 100% correct. We are proposing that the taxes be apportioned to the current health bill as alcohol and cigarettes do have a major impact on the health sector. Your first speaker asked why our health sector should be or get taxes from alcohol and cigarettes. Our objective here today is not to discuss whether or not other taxes should be acted to the health sector. It is to discuss the alcohol and cigarettes being a push into our health sector budget in Grenada. Food and petroleum are major contributors to the consolidation fund, so we cannot apportion it as suggested by a second speaker. As stated by a first speaker, less than 1% of the health problems stem from alcohol and cigarettes. But how can this be? when Grenadians consume the highest amount of alcohol per capita in the Caribbean and is 13th in the world. This crippling our health sector with 70 patients who contact the non-communicable diseases. Taxes from our alcohol and cigarettes should be a portion to our health bill. I thank you. It has been my pleasure to host you. Please tune in for complete coverage of the 2017 Grenleg Debates. The Grenleg Debates. Vote for your favorite debater on our Facebook page. The Grenleg Debates. Power, bright ideas.